when you're doing this. Today's class is called Fountain of Youth. And for me, I really started feeling like my potential and my ability to play better and be injured less when I started practicing lit yoga. So for me, the Fountain of Youth really has to do with kind of the main columns or pillars of lit yoga, which are uh, stability, mobility, and adaptability. So every class contains these elements, but what we do that's really unique is we really warm up for our actions. And I found with working with clients over the years that the thing that we stop doing as adults is warming up. And these warmups need to include these um, fundamental pillars of stability and mobility. So let's dive into um, Fountain of Youth today and just kind of, uh, I'll walk through what I mean. We'll need two blocks today. You can probably get away with one if you just have one. And we'll take the block right down on the mat with us for our resets. The reset in lit yoga is a huge part of the stability component. So just set yourself up for your triple S, coming onto your back, feeling your skull, your scapula. So let the arm bones get really heavy, pin the ribs down and start to organize the pelvis, finding that neutral pelvis where you're on your sacrum without being on the uh, without being on the lower rim and then without being on the upper rim. So the tailbone becomes really neutral. The whole spine gets neutral and you find that flat part of your sacrum where you're balanced equally between the lower and upper ribs. Grab your block and set it between your thighs as close as you can to your pubic bone. That way you're turning on your deep abdominal muscles right from the get-go. So feel those abdominal muscles sink down toward the mat, pin the ribs again, and then we'll take the hands to the thighs and traction the spine away, growing longer in the spine. This ability for long spine and neutral spine are key elements for Fountain of Youth. Pull the thighs together by squeezing the block and then we'll come up into a low glute bridge with the hands on the ASIS bone. So right on your frontal um, pelvic points. So just organizing and steering your pelvis to neutral, tap on your glutes. And then let your hands just fall for a minute and just hold here, getting strong in this whole posterior chain. We'll lift and lower the heels today. And then just notice what sort of strength you have just a few times. And if there's any wavering, pull in tighter into the block and really just sort of feel what muscles are compensating and what needs strength. So if this is difficult, you can add this in when you're sitting in a chair. You can do the standing while you brush your teeth, right? We wanna get really functional with our movements and adding them in for sustainability for a fountain of youth effect. Good, a couple more. And then we'll hold here. You can check your, with your ASI bones again, tap on those glutes, and then take your hands up like you're holding a tray. Pull back on the fingers. Doing a nice wrist stretch. Elbows are straight here. Feel that deep core starting to settle down toward the spine to support you, getting stable. Pull on the thumb, give it a little love, and then we'll switch to the right fingers. Nice deep breathing, just coming into the sound of your own breath. And you can always turn on one of my Spotify playlists. It's under leslie.mckee.108 if you have Spotify. And then we'll just take a couple of circles here and the other way. And then bring the arms and the pelvis down to the floor. Keep the block here for a moment and squeeze and really feel that whole deep abdominal start to pull together like a corset. Take your hands under your thighs and traction away again really letting the, um, the ribs come down toward the mat. So you're finding this nice hollow that happens in the space of the abdomen without the ribs popping. Good. We'll remove the block and pull one knee at a time into your chest. Just hug in. Notice what's happening at the hip joint. You can add a little bit of movement, rocking on your sacrum. And then we'll release the legs and set the knees right over the hips for abdominal work and release the hands behind the head. 
We'll exhale up, look down right at the navel, pull in together and then down. Inhale, come back down. Exhale up, elbows come together so that you come off of your shoulder blades. So not coming any higher than that, pull in and down at the navel. All the work is happening toward the spine. Inhale, come back down. There's shaking, that's good. Exhale it up, pull in and down, and now we'll add on. Extend the right leg up, and it can stay bent. It's not about pulling on those tissues right now. Bend, rebend the knee, inhale, come down. Exhale up, second side this time. Elbows come together, pull in and down, extend the left leg up. Replace the leg, reset the head, inhale. Exhale it up, right leg extends, turn toward the left. Keep the elbows almost touching. Back to center, reset, inhale, come down. Exhale up, lean the head back into the hand. Left leg kicks up, turn toward the right. Reset. Inhale, we'll add on. Exhale up. Lean the head back into the hand, belly towards spine. Right leg kicks up, turn to the left, extend and slice the right arm. Pull in a little bit more on that left side. Reset and come down. Now the fire is happening. Exhale it up. Kick the left. Turn right, slice the left arm across. Pull up a little more. Reset, inhale, come down. Exhale up, head to hand, belly to spine, right leg kicks, turn to the left, slice the right arm. Option to extend the left hand and grab right at this little wrist gap. Right wrist or left wrist is grabbed by right arm. Pull forward, reset, inhale, come down. Last one, exhale it up, kick the left, turn right, slice left, slice right, wrist gap on the right side, pull forward and reset. Ah, that was a big one. Lock your feet wide, as wide as the mat. We'll take the legs over to the left side, tapping on the left, the right glute, excuse me, as you go. Pin the ribs down and then we'll extend the arms over the head and get that wrist gap feeling again. So gapping the wrist on the right hand, pull upward and away, making some space through the rib cage. Relax what isn't working and come back to your breath. Right glute is on fierce. So understanding how to turn that right glute on to capacity. Good, come back to neutral. And then let the feet windshield wiper over to the right side. You can tap on the left glute, make sure it's on to capacity. And then wrist gap on the left wrist. Pulling, lifting the whole space between the rib cage underneath the um, armpit should feel so nice. Good, come on to your back. One knee at a time comes in, big hug, just like before abdominals, you can rock across that nice flat, neutral pelvis. And then we'll rock and roll up to all fours, bringing some weight bearing onto the wrists. Just like when we're little kids and we crawl, we'll set up, dial out the arms so that you get an, a little external rotation in the shoulders to hold you. And then walk the knees in toward the hands a little bit more. You can turn your toes under for more stability. We'll walk the knees into each other. Really firm up that right leg and we'll lift the left. Now we're going to lift it out to the side for a fire hydrant. So you can't quite see me, but pull in through the deep core and then we'll take the leg, just turn for the camera for a minute, out like a little fire hydrant. 
Now, no compensation in the pelvis here. We'll do this about six times. So slow and low. If you go high, your pelvis is gonna try and steer the leg. And we want you just moving at the hip. The glute is holding you, your deep abdominal core is holding you. Two more. And then just watch the head and chin. Nice triple S spine. Good, and then set that leg down. Right side. Nice long spine, dialing out those hands and then moving the shoulder girdle away from the ears. No compensations, hold firm on the left side. Two more. Good. And then set that down. We'll come into downward facing dog. Ah, nice bent knees, long spine, ears are lifted. And then pedal out those hardworking legs. And just start to get some motion. Notice any compensations in the shoulder girdle. As the legs start to move, shoulder girdle holds firm. Keep dialing out the hands. And we'll get a nice firm tissue pull back there. Good. Plant the right leg and lift the left leg into three-legged down dog. With the leg extended, we'll take some little circles just at the hip, don't move the pelvis. One more, and then we'll switch directions. Good, knee to chest and then set that foot down, extend the right leg. Hold firm on the left side, and then we'll move in little circles. Pause and switch directions. Keep dialing up the hands, lifting through the throat, stabilizing through the abdominal core. Yes, knee to chest. And come wide with the feet, walk the hands back. We'll pause and happy squat. Stretch out the fingers. You can creep crawl them away. Really sit back into the glutes. Walk the hands over to the left. Oh, big tissue pull. And then over to the right. And then take your hands to your ankles and start to come into some little pulses here, pulling the tissue through the back of whole posterior chain. Lift through the throat. Pull in that deep abdominal wall. And then we'll pause here. And with that strength, come all the way up for a nice triple S. Good, okay. Come on up to the front of the mat and then we'll find our triple S here. Use your hands for feedback, bend the knees to organize the pelvis and we'll move through some sun salutation ones. Inhale, the arms lift forward and up. Exhale, hands come to your hip creases, sitting back into your glutes as you hinge forward, hands come to the mat. Option to use your blocks if you want. Either way, dial out the hands, whether they're fingertips or fully touching, and we'll send the right leg back, knee to the mat, top of the foot on the mat. Come up and pull that front leg forward, and we'll organize the pelvis, and then lift up the arms. Fingertips to the sky, and then arms to goalpost. Pull the shoulder blades together. Opening the chest wall without moving the ribs, Good, hands to the mat. Dial out those hands before you even load them. Okay, we'll come to a kneeling plank today and just check out how the chest is open already like a cobra chest, even before you lower. The glutes are on, the core is on. Just hold and breathe with a kneeling plank. Good, exhale back, downward facing dog. Bent knees, long spine. Right foot steps forward as far as it can. Don't worry about how far it goes. Then knee to the mat, tap a foot to the mat. And then adjust, pull in and then we'll slide the arms up, fingertips to the sky and coming into goal post. Shoulder blades working together. 
front leg pulling back for stability. Fingertips to the mat, dial them out and then step the back foot in. You're in a happy squat, lean, sit back into the glutes and then inhale, rise. Yes. Second side, exhale, hands to hip creases, fingertips to the mat, dial them out, step the left foot back this time, knee to the mat, keep the toes tucked under. Compact your core, pull back with the front leg for stability. And then we'll take the hands up for a moment, lifting through the rib cage. And then interlace the hands behind the back. If that is impossible, just take a block and pull the block apart with the hands and feel that space in the chest and all through the shoulder girdle. Head slides back. And then pull in through the deep core as you start to make your transition, hands to mat. Now dial out the hands. Well, option to come into a kneeling plank or a full plank this time. As you load those hands, they're nice and dialed out in the chest. Glutes are on, deep core is on, knees to the mat. We'll pull back as we lower, keeping the head of the arm bones lift, lifted. You're already in a baby cobra. So chest is on the mat, but the whole abdominal wall is lifting toward the spine. Glutes are on. And then we'll inhale, exhale, back, downward facing dog. Pull the belly toward the spine, dial out the hands and then knee to chest on the left side, step that left foot as far forward as you can. Doesn't matter how far it comes. Pull everything together, inhale the hands up and then exhale and behind the back with your block or interlacing your fingers. Good, now we're ready for some bigger movement. We'll take our hands forward, step the back foot in, now dial out the hands, lean, sit back into the glutes, and inhale, rise on up. We'll start our first sequence, same way we started this sequence, but first checking for that triple S, that action of having a neutral pelvis, neutral shoulder girdle, and a neutral spine. Inhale, arms come forward and up. Exhale, hinge on back. Set your hands, right foot steps back, knee to the mat, 90-90 lunge. We'll take our arms back up and into that goal post. And we'll add some twists here. So really pull the front knee toward your pelvis. So the whole femur, head of the femur pulls back in for stability. The whole rib cage is turning but the pelvis is locked down. So the action comes above the belly button. Good. We'll hold to the left and extend the arms if that feels good. Nice long T here. Keep pulling in through the deep abdominals and then we'll park the right hand on the knee. Left arm can take some backward circles. We're getting into the mobility part here. We've got the stability now, holding together in the deep core. And now we're adding some shoulder mobility. One more set here. And then left arm comes on to left thigh. We'll open to the right for warrior variation. Right arm comes overhead. Organize through the pelvis here, pressing the feet apart and really turning on the glutes. Take your left hand now and take it onto your right glute. Feel that glute work for you. Nice breath. And then we'll circle down, adjust the feet as needed for side lunges. Stay low and sit back into the glutes. Don't let the chin pop. Pull in through the deep core, even though it's hanging, it needs to still be working. This is how we organize for our fountain of youth. So knees over ankles or in line with ankles, not past them. And we get that by sending the glutes further back. We're gonna use the back of the mat now. That's part of the fun. Turn to the right and stay low. Drop the knee for 90-90 lunge. We'll come up for our second side. Pull the front foot in for stability. Lock in the glutes. And then we'll take our arms straight up and into goal post. 
Nice rotation here. Doesn't have to be big. Just making some space through the thoracic spine. Most of us are really locked up here. So pelvis doesn't move, but rib cage does. One more, and then we'll turn to the right, opening up the arms. Just extend them out. Breathe here. Feel the length through the fingers. Long line of energy. Park the left hand onto the right knee and backstroke the right arm. Good, one more. And then we'll slide that right arm onto the right thigh, turning to the left warrior variation. Turn on the left glute, and then we'll take the right arm behind onto the left glute. Take your fist to your glute. Good. And you can drop your right ear a little bit, and then we'll come down toward the mat, adjust the feet, side lunges. Sit back into the glutes. Can let the head really dangle and just start to get into it. You've been here before. Stuff tissues are starting to open. One more. And then we'll turn toward the front of the mat, step the back foot in, but first dial out those hands and really externally rotate at the shoulders, making space for that leg to come in. Sit back into the glutes, inhale, rise up. We'll come through a sun salutation A. We always do one of these between sequences. So inhale, rise. Exhale, send your hips back, hinging. Plant the hands and step your left foot followed by your right foot. Now you can come right to your knees if you want to organize. So first dial out the hands, pull the whole shoulder girdle down away from the ears. Then pull in through the deep abdominal core, turn on the glutes and lift one leg at a time, see what happens. Good, knees come back down, pull the hands towards you, keeping the arm bones lifted as you lower. All ready in Cobra here, glutes are on, deep abdominal core, and then lift through the throat, not the eyes. Good, press the floor away and lift downward facing dog. Big exhale, pedal out the feet again. Good, step, feet to hands. Keep the whole arms dialed out as you do and sit back into the glutes. Inhale, rise. Good, we'll come into our second sequence and we'll do it right from standing. So bend at the knees and send your right foot back, high crescent lunge. Compact your core here, set your head, and then we'll lift the arms up so you're on the ball of the back foot, your right glute is on. And we'll take some pulses here. Come into that goal post again and just hold your goal post and we'll pulse up and down, strengthening the legs. Good, transition those arms to your hips and hold firm. We're gonna open to, um, well, we're gonna kick forward into staff and then open to goddess. Okay, so this is a combo. We're gonna turn back to high crescent lunge, organize the pelvis, turn on the glute, kick it forward, and then come into goddess. So four times, just working through this little playful sequence, finding your own fountain of youth as things get warmed up here. We'll do it about six times. And then just check in right here at the pelvis and the deep abdominal core so that you're kicking just through the hip and not moving at the pelvis. And it should feel really fun and loosen up a lot of tissue. Last time, I think that was seven, we'll hold in goddess and just roll the shoulders. Make some space, let your head move to get out the crackles. Good, we'll get a little bit more mobility through those hips. Turn to the back of the mat, three-legged down dog, right leg up, dial out the hands and lift that right leg. Press down firmly, organize the pelvis so that you're flat and we'll come into those leg circles that we did during our warm up in the reset. 
can make them a little bigger, find the stability in the right, in the left side. And then we'll switch directions. Good, and then take your knee to your chest and step that right leg forward, coming up into your high crescent lunge facing the back of your mat. Pause here, get firm and organized. Good, set your head, arms come up and then into goal post. And then we'll add the pulses. So knee doesn't move over ankle, it stays in line. Double bend your knees, glutes are on. Good, this is training for life. This is fountain of youth. Good, now pause and transfer your hands right onto your hips. Fingers are at the hip hinge. All right, we'll kick it into staff and then open goddess squat. Coming back, high crescent lunge, organize. Kick it into staff, open for goddess. All right, just flowing on your own, moving with your breath. Keep that pelvis locked down. Don't let the chin pop up. Don't let the ribs pop up. Keeping everything neutral. One more time. We'll all meet in goddess. Good, and we'll just roll the shoulders here and let the head move. Turn toward the front of the mat, three-legged down dog. Left leg is up this time. Now, as you land, make as much space as you can through your back. I still have some camber in my back, so I'll dial out my hands and prepare to load as I come right up into three-legged down dog. Adding your counterclockwise and clockwise circles, firming up the arm bones by dialing them out, and then move the other way. Whichever way you started, do the opposite direction. Good, and then plant the feet. We'll come into that kneeling plank, holding firm, pulling the shoulder blades onto the back, and then pull back the arm bones as you land, lifting through the chest, glutes are on, and then downward facing dog. Nice bent knees, ha, ah, sigh it out. Feet to hands, making space, sitting back in the glutes. Inhale, rise all the way up. Take a little water break here. We're gonna put all of these sequences together. This is the lit stream and we're really ready for this. So as you're ready, Set your triple S, come into some nice bent knees. Inhale, we'll reach the arms forward and up. Exhale, fingers to hip creases. And then we'll step back, dialing out the arms. Right foot back. Now you have the option to take your knee down or keep it up this time. If it's up, it might feel nice to have your blocks. Okay, so breathe here. Knee down or up. And then just working on that long spine. Okay, we'll come into twisted crescent. So just lift the left elbow and turn at the rib cage. Knee down or up again. And then lean the head back and drop the ear. Should feel super good. Now we can backstroke this arm here or you can leave it still. Keep firming up the right arm and that whole right side as you backstroke the left. Good, and then left arm comes onto left thigh. Set your blocks to the side. We're coming up for that reverse warrior. Take the left arm onto the right glute. Good, and then we'll come through warrior two. Right arm comes onto left glute as you reverse your warrior. Drop your ear, warrior two. One more time, left hand, right glute. Drop the ear, right arm, left glute, reverse. 
And then back to warrior two, we'll adjust the feet for goddess. Take your hands right to your pelvis to find that goddess. All right, so here comes our goddess series. We'll turn to the front of the mat, high crescent lunge, kick it, back to goddess. High crescent lunge, kick it, back to goddess. One more, high crescent lunge, keep the shoulders on the back, kick it, back to goddess. Good. I'm gonna come into a high lunge here. So you can come a little lower if you like, or you can stay up high. You can do these, these are so functional. This is part of our fountain of youth movements. And you can do these during the day when you're taking a break. Should feel super nice. And then you can start to get a little bit more juicy with it. Dropping down. They don't always have to look the same way. Good. From this lower part, start to walk your hands to the front of the mat. We're gonna come into seated twist. So just pause at the front of the mat for a minute to organize. The right knee comes down and we keep turning without moving the feet to the left. So I'm facing away from you, moving super slowly so you can see it, left leg ends on top and we're facing the left side of the mat. If this doesn't work for the feet, kick the right leg out in front of you. Set your triple S and then we'll take the hands in goal post get some of those nice goal post twists again. Make sure you're really on top of your sit bones so your core can still contract to hold you. Pelvis doesn't move. We're just moving at the rib cage. We're gonna come out of this toward the front of the mat. So turn, place your hands in the front of your mat and you're coming into downward facing dog with your left leg up, three-legged down dog. Dial out the arms, pull the shoulder girdle away from the ears. And then we'll take those nice circles. Okay, so just a couple times, reverse directions. So this is optional. Take your knee to your chest and then you have the option to extend back out. Now take your knee to your right elbow option to kick back out. Knee to left elbow, kick back out. All right, this time when we take it to the right elbow, bring it down to the mat. Keep the right leg extended. This is your prep for fallen triangle. If you'd like to try it, make sure your pelvis is organized. Don't let the right side roll up. So start to wiggle the left foot across. Lift through the shoulders, and then if you want, you can slide that leg through if there's space. Otherwise, it stays down on the mat. And that's a simple fall and triangle. It's super fun. And you can get there from three-legged down dog. Good. Bring your legs back, coming into your down dog. And then we'll rock forward knees to the mat for plank. Pull back and down as you lower. And we'll take a nice cobra with Goal post. You can set your head down if you need to. And we'll take our goal post arms, really organizing the shoulder girdle, glutes are on, abdominal core, core pulls away from the floor. Good, plant the hands, downward facing dog. We have another side to do, and we can do it right from here. Lift the right leg up, knee to chest, step it forward. Now, option to use your blocks again. Just coming into a nice lunge here, long spine, organize the pelvis. Working to have your spine as straight as you can. Lean into that right arm. You can even pull the tissue under the shoulder coming into your crescent. Bring your head back, let your ear drop. Nice stretch to that whole side. Left side is firm and stable. Option to backstroke. Good, right arm comes onto right thigh. I'm facing away from the camera now. We're in warrior two, uh, warrior variation, sorry. And then we'll slide the right arm behind the back right onto the glute. And then we'll come through and reverse that warrior left to right glute. And then right to left glute as you come forward, warrior variation. And as you come back, 
Reverse warrior, left arm, right glute. Good. And then we're gonna come into our goddess series. Turn for your goddess and just hold your goddess for a minute and get organized through the pelvis. The pelvis likes to dip in goddess. So bring that back into neutral, hands to waist. Front of the mat will turn and kick it. Three times on your own pace. It's not about speed or height. It's about organization and where you're shifting your weight. I had a bad one, so I'm gonna do one more. Gotta throw out the bad ones. There we go. Good, and we'll roll the shoulders in our goddess. Move the head as you like. Huh. Good, and then we have our high side lunges here. So still lean back into your glutes and just feel that openness here. And then option to come low. Dropping the head, you can even hold on to the ankles or shin bones if you like. Now suction the belly up, it likes to dangle here. Pull that abdominal wall together toward the spine. Turn toward the front of the mat, here comes your seated twist and keep turning right. Left knee comes down, right leg lands on top. You can always kick out the left leg, come into your goal post arms. Nice rotation here. There's a couple more things going on in class today for our stream. We're gonna turn to the front of the mat, plant the hands, dial them out as you start to load them, sliding the shoulder girdle back. Right leg comes three-legged down dog. Here come your circles. And this is your mobility. And circle the other way. All right, and then as like a little playful thing of youth, knee to chest, kick it out. Knee to right side, kick it out. Knee to left side, hold. Knee can come down and then other knee can come down. You can slide that foot through. Option to come back up onto the foot. There's your fallen triangle. Knee can come down, unlace. Down or facing dog, pedal it out. All right, let me know if you have any questions about fallen triangle. It's fun, it's playful, it's definitely not necessary. Knees to the mat, pull back as you lower. Cobra forearms come into goal post. Good, really pulling the shoulder blades onto the back. They might feel like boulders by now. Pull them on, get them where they live. Yes. Deep core lift and glutes are on. Plant the hands, downward facing dog, pedal out the feet. Ah, nice big sweaty class for you today. And we'll come onto our backs. Keep your blocks near you. And we'll come into our figure four, warm down stretch. Take your left over your right thigh and pull in, let's thread our fingers. So important to keep suppleness and strength through the feet. Let the arm bones land. Just notice if they feel curled in or lifted, like elevated. Let your heart rate come down, listen to your breath. And then we'll release second side, interlace the fingers through the toes. And sometimes if you have any um, discomfort today through your shoulders or elbows, just know it's, it might not be available to you to lower yet until those shoulder blades are uh, back in their home base. So just notice that today and it, use it as like a marker for just how to move on the mat, not anything to get disappointed about. Um, if there's any discomfort, that's just your shoulders are rounded forward. So we'll get them organized over time and then you can lower. Good, happy baby. Keep the sacrum on the mat. Good. 
Good, release that. We'll slide our blocks right underneath the glutes on the mat. So everything stays on the mat. These are just like a little bolster to keep your pelvis out of anterior tilt. So they go underneath the upper part of the thighs. And then big breath in, big breath out. One more time, inhale. Exhale. Bring a little movement to your fingers and toes. And draw one knee at a time up onto the mat. And slide your blocks out of the way. And then hug one knee at a time into your chest. And I'll begin to open the eyes. You can just add a little bit of rocking across the sacrum. And then we'll come over onto the side and press up to seated, finding your sit bones and stacking your pelvic girdle and then your shoulder girdle and then your head to this nice triple S stack. Thank you for uh, finding that fountain of youth with me today and do touch base if you have anything come up during practice.